Tiktaalik was headline news the day it was described in 2006. And I remember going in to drop one of my kids off at school. And the teacher asked me, he said, you know, I read about your discovery in the newspaper. Can you, can you bring it in to show the, show the children? So, you know, my office was just down the block. So I, I grabbed a cast of the fossil and, and came in to show the fossil to the, to the children. And it was amazing what I saw. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi, Han. How you doing, baby? Hannah, would you like to introduce our guest? Oh, did I conk your head? Sorry, Maurice. <laughs> I'm such a head conker. What can I say? Hi, guys. How you doing? Hello. Did you want to introduce today's yes, special guest? Can you introduce our guest, please? This is my daddy. <laughs> and that's my daughter. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> my name's Neil Shubin, and I'm a scientist. I'm a paleontologist. Does the kids know listened quietly as I told them about what paleontologists do and how we search for fossils. So let me show you the, the puzzle. This, I'm going to show you something that shows you what I was looking for, and then you're going to try to identify what it is. Let's see what we got. This is taken from a college textbook, so it's really hard. This is taken from, I want to show you something. You see this cartoon? Does everybody see it? Okay, I'll bring it around. All right, what is on top? What do you guys see? Fish. That's a fish on top. Now, why is it a fish? Why do you say, you guys were all pretty sure that was a fish. How do you know? What did you say? Yes. Why is it? Because it has fins and stuff. Yeah, it has fins and scales, and look at the shape of its head. It's like an oval, and they don't really have a neck over here, and it doesn't make a big shape. That's right. Now, what's on the bottom? Uh, no, I don't know about dinosaur. A crocodile. It looks like a crocodile, yeah. It's an early land living animal. So how do you know it's not a fish? It has legs. It has legs. What else? What about its head? It's dotted oval. That's right. So I was looking in the fossil record to understand how fish became creatures that walked on land. And in the Arctic, in the North Pole, we found a fossil. And I want to show it to you, and I want to ask you what you think it is. Here's the body. All right, there's the body. Everybody see? And here is the head. Now, don't answer what it is yet. I just want you to look at it. This is the cast of the real specimen. Yeah, the teeth are sharp. All right. Okay. Somebody, raise your hand. Who, who, not you. You know. It looks like a lizard. It was a kind of has like, like triangle head. That's right. That's why we were so interested in it. What do you see on the body? Like scales. That's right. Scales. What else? What are these? Like hands. Maybe well, fins. fins. That's right. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. I, knew, I totally know what it is. You totally know what it is. What is it? It's like a fish that walks on land. Yeah. <laughs> In a word. <laughs> what the students picked up on is that this fossil, which we named Tiktaalik, has some features that belong to fish and some to four-legged animals or tetrapods. What's really amazing is that this is an animal that Darwin would have predicted. A real mix of characteristics, both fish-like and tetrapod-like. It's what we call a fishapod. Like a fish, it had scales on its back and fins with, with fin rays. But like an early tetrapod, it had a flat head with eyes on top. And when we look inside the body, we see these huge interlocking ribs that would fit together to probably support lungs during breathing. And when you put the body together with the head, what you see it has a neck where the head can move independently of the body. You know, allowing the animal to peer outside the water, avoid predators, and find prey. This visit had a profound impact on me. Because what it showed as a true example is the power of fossil evidence. That when you give the fossil evidence to children and let them interact with it, they get it. They got seeing a transitional fossil. I didn't have to describe anything. The evidence itself was what it was all about.